Hello everyone, this is the Casting Hydralis, VP Nurski coming to you guys with some awesome game casts. First to introduce the players, spawning as the Teal Protoss in this game is going to be Cruza. Then spawning up to the north, the Purple Zerg, a very well known player, D Killer. These games are all going to be coming from the King of Iron Tournament that was recently played down in Chile. These are all Chilean players, it was a 16 man single elimination tournament. We'll be starting with the round of four games and then heading off to the third place match. And then after that, we're going to be looking at the finals match. So each one of these players who win would advance to the finals in these first two sets that I will be showing you. This first game is going to be on the map Tall Dream Altar LE. That is the Blizzard version of the map. Important to note that on the Blizzard of the map, unlike the GSL version of the map, there is some destructible rocks, which everybody loves so much over in your third here do have a fairly easy to take natural and third though pretty easy to defend two ramps here one into your natural one down here over into your third can place the army kind of somewhere around in this location and pretty well defend both bases cruiser however is going to decide to wall off a little bit with that first gateway killer sending out his first scout is going to end up scouting close positions first we'll find out that his opponent is not there Killer now going up to 15 drones, has not built any pools yet. Looking like he might be going for a very fast expand, so he's going to go hatch first. Is saving up the minerals, his 300, and there indeed goes down the hatch first. So Killer's hatch just barely beating out Cruiser's Probe. Cruiser's Probe will now scout the base of Killer, see what Killer is up to. Going to try and be a little bit annoying, doing a little bit of the old mineral mining trick. Is going to try and harass one of his drones. Killer just mostly ignoring it. Up to 15 now. Going to put down the pool on 15. Meanwhile, back in the base of Cruiser, we do have that first gateway done. It's not building a zealot or anything out of it just yet. So it'll be interesting to see what Cruiser is actually going to do. It's throwing up his cybernetic score now. Still no zealot coming out. So very economically oriented build for Cruiser. Just now starting that zealot. Drone's going to easily walk into the base of Cruiser, see what he's up to. We'll see that he has taken just one gas. Not necessarily saving a whole lot of Chrono Boost quite just yet. Meanwhile, Killer's Hatchery about 75% done, about to pass soon. Pool as well about 75% done, very nice sinking on those. Does have his first gas started up here. And interestingly enough, a gas steal by Killer. So Killer almost daring Cruiser to try and forgate him or something like that. And I say, nope, I'm going to steal your gas. There's no way you are going to be able... To pump out a whole lot of sentries, so it'll be interesting to see what Killer's plan is with this. Actually canceling it and then retaking it. It's going to be extremely annoying for Protoss and Terran players alike. It is so hard to get that gas back once a Zerg player steals it without committing some kind of other forces. But we do actually have Cruiser moving forward here with a Stalker. It does have the Stalkers rallied up towards the front of Killer's base, as you can see. So he's going to try to do a little bit of Stalker pressure early, try and punish that early expansion of Killer. Killer should get vision of this though. Does have a lane moving forward. Definitely will see this stalker of Cruza moving forward. Killer is going to produce a couple of links. Just now starting link speed. First stalker is going to get there. Start harassing the queen. Couple of links come out. Going to try and quickly repel that first stalker. Doesn't want to lose any forces to it. Does end up losing one of his zerglings to it. Meanwhile in the base of Cruza. Real quick, warp gate research underway. Cybernetic score has finished. Has finally gotten back that gas. Killer finally did cancel that. It looks like Cruiser is going to try and do a one gate into a forge expansion. Meanwhile, back in the base of D Killer, we do have the two stalkers and one probe up there at the front of his base. Couple of links and a queen coming over there to defend. Does manage to pick up that probe. Going to shoot back those initial two stalkers for just a moment. We do have another stalker on the way though for Cruza, so he is going with a very heavy stalker pressure early in the game. More lanes getting produced by Killer. I mean, moving forward, trying to pick off these stalkers, just barely poking at these stalkers. Very minimal damage being taken by these stalkers currently. Stalkers are going to keep backing up, trying to micro away from these lings. Do not want to lose any of these stalkers to these lings. Stalkers do cost gas. They are fairly expensive. Four stalker getting sent forward is going to be a little bit of a miss rally, taking quite a bit of damage from these lings, but does do a good end around and is going to try and get away here. Meanwhile, Killer is just actually producing a ton of lings, has not been producing any drones. Loads of lings getting produced. Ten, eight more lings getting produced. If we do look at the income tab, we can see that it is Killer way behind. 20 to just 25 is running forward with these lings. Link speed has finished. 
killer is going to be pushing in. Does pick off one of the stalkers. Going for another stalker. About to pick up a second. Cannon just finishes. Gets a third stalker. Fourth stalker nearly about to go down. Fourth stalker goes down. Killer is going to go after this cannon. Looks like killer might actually be going all in with speedlings to try and punish this very fast. Expand a little bit of a greedy expand by the Protoss player. Protoss player is now pulling all his probes. Only two stalkers remain. One stalker remains. Stalker is about to go down. One zealot come out to try and combat this with the probes. Lings are moving back and forth trying to pick off as many of these probes as possible. If we look really quickly back in Cruiser's base, you can see he has hardly anything mining right now. Losing a whole bunch of probes. And now Killer is actually going to just run straight through the front. He's going to go straight for the probe line with these lings. Does have ling speed once again. Probes having to be pulled again to the defenders. Losing one, two, three. Might even lose a fourth probe. We will have to see. It's going to be extremely close. No manages to clean those up without losing any more probes. But does have a lot more damage. But here comes a ton more lings for Killer. Cruiser still having to keep a bunch of those probes forward. A bunch of lings are going to run into the base. The other lings also going to run by one or two getting picked off. Cannon finally does finish back in the mineral line of Cruiser. We do have a whole bunch of probes going down. Warps and a Stalker. That Stalker is not going to be able to do much against these speed links. Behind this, D-Killer is now just producing a bunch of drones. Picks off even more probes. If we look at the income tab right now, we do see it is only 10 harvesters with 27 of Killer. Killer getting way far ahead, picking off yet another Zealot. Killer just being so effective with this harass. Probably going to get this Stalker and this Stalker. There they both go down. Now it's going to just pick off this Zealot right away too. Oh, this is looking absolutely terrible for Cruza. Down the 14 supply to the 44 killer. There goes yet another probe, and Cruza is going to GG out. Unbelievable play by Killer. Killer recognizing that there was just nothing Cruza could do to defend. Just got a little bit too greedy, expanded a little bit too fast. That stalker pressure was very easily thwarted by the speedlings. And Cruza ended up paying for it severely. And just because of that... Killer is going to go up 1-0 in this set, and we are going to move on to Game 2, so I'll see you guys at that cast.